Howdy hi, it's Amanda here with Coffee Talk. I know, I've been gone for a while. Travel, racing, having adventures around the world, what can I say? So most of you know, I raced in Kona. Race didn't go quite as planned, but you can check that out on my blog. So we're gonna move on to what's been happening more recently, which would be Ironman Arizona, Thanksgiving, and my final race of the season, Phuket 70.3. So Arizona, I went in there fit, fast, ready to race, and a lot of other girls did too. So it was a great day out there all around for everyone. I ended up IPR'd by 15 minutes, woohoo! So take that on any day. And so a quick rundown of how the day went. Got off in the swim, I had my TYR Freak of Nature wetsuit. Absolutely love that thing. It's a must have, swam super fast. And exited the water, I think about two and a half, three minutes up on the next set of girls that came out of the water. So I just put my head down and pedaled my little legs off and got a, as big as a lead as I could. And I was hoping just hang on as long as I could. And I did, I ended up the entire bike. I stayed out in front. I knew those girls were chasing hard, so I just kept pushing hard too, and so it was an awesome experience to enter T2 as the first female, and got out on the run course with the lead bike. So hopefully next time around, the lead biker will stay with me all the way to the finish line, but we're always a work in progress, so that's my winter project. But had a great run, actually ended up PRRing my marathon also, and took it home great, and so there we go, ready to start working for next year. Next stop, Thanksgiving. So we headed straight from Phoenix to Oklahoma, spent some time in Enid, where my family's from, and Altus, where Randy is from. And as we were pulling up to my house in Enid, I started to get all teared up, teared up, and Randy's like, what's wrong, we're home. And I was like, I know, I haven't been here for a full year. So that was kind of hard for me to take, but then I was like, you know what, we've got a whole week here. Let's just take advantage of it. And so I had an awesome week. Got to spoil the nieces and nephews, played with them. We played inside, we played outside, swings, monkey bars, you name it, we did it. And had a ton of fun with them. And also hung out with my brothers and sisters, my parents, Randy's family, family and friends on Thanksgiving day, and just had several things to be thankful for. And a great time held by, had by all. And I gotta say, probably one of the other highlights of the trip was we went and saw The Muppet Show, which was fantastic. If you haven't seen it, I highly suggest it. So, phenomenal. After a wonderful Thanksgiving, it was time to head all the way across the world to Phuket, Thailand. I'd actually been there one time before. I studied in Bangkok during medical school. And if Charity is watching this, Hey girl, totally miss you. We were over there for a month and visited Phuket, but on a little bit of a different mission then. We were sitting on the beach, not there in race mode. So a bit of travel logistics to get there. I think it took me 54 hours total travel time and got there and all of a sudden I was like, it's amazing here. Beautiful place, that's why it's one of the top vacation destinations in the world. Beautiful beaches, beautiful places to go, and a great race atmosphere. So got out there and raced. The gun went off, dolphin dived in the water a few times, and I was like, oh crud, this is gonna be a long day. But I'm there to race, I'm there to do my thing, so it was like, put your head down, and you go girl. So came out of the water on the swim first, had a couple minutes up on the other girls, and went out on the bike. The bike was tough, it was technical, has some serious climbs that I didn't get to preview before the race. And then before you know it, this torrential rain is just pouring down, my wheels slipping, I have no idea where I'm at. And there was actually one long stretch and there was absolutely no one in front, no one in behind. I was like, oh, I must've taken a wrong turn. But figured out finally, I think some other A Troop guys came by and I figured out I was in the right spot. Had some sketchy descents and definitely something I could work on there. And actually there was one point in the race we went through, they're flagging us down and it wasn't supposed to be a flagged area and we're riding through the waters like up to almost our knees as we're riding through it. So pretty, pretty different challenging um, things came up during the race and I got on the run and it was just hot. I mean, it was not snow on the ground in Colorado. It was hot, it was humid and I just struggled out there so across the finish line a bit disappointed but you know those are some of the races that you gain the most experience and learning knowledge from so i'll take it i mean i went in there i took a risk and it didn't quite pan out but you never know if you don't take risks then you never know what you're capable of so here i am 2011 season has wrapped up a bit of a roller coaster ride it has been but the exciting thing is i'm 
very ready to buckle down and get ready for next year. I know 2012 has great things in store. And also it's Christmas time. And we just went out tonight and purchased our first ever Christmas tree. I don't know, it's really cute. I love it, I can't wait to decorate it. So hopefully you guys have a great December and a Merry Christmas and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.